Hi there. Uh, we're focusing here on the idea of chains of reasoning as a way of improving your analysis marks in exams. It's really important to avoid assertion when you're analysing. Build a chain of reasoning to score really high marks for analysis. Let's take a quick example. We're looking here at public goods and market failure. So we're trying to explain using a chain of reasoning in other words, several links put together, how pure public goods cause market failure. Let's have a look at an example here. So pure public goods cause market failure. One reason, of course, there are many reasons. One reason is that pure public goods, such as national defence and street lighting, so you're giving some contextual examples there, are non-excludable. This means it's not possible to provide a good or a service to one person without it being available for others to benefit from. Third link in the chain. As a result, private sector businesses cannot charge a market price and therefore supply public goods at a profit. The effect of the free rider problem is that pure public goods lead to missing markets. So do you see here how we've created a chain of reasoning using a series of relatively short sentences? This failure to supply public goods is a clear market failure. So chains of reasoning help you avoid assertion. Nice, clear, crisp analysis will always get you good analysis marks in the new exams.